guys, it's Tori. Like you don't know. So, today, I uh, well, last night I asked a couple of you guys to send me questions via Facebook. And because I knew that not a lot of people would reply, I allowed multiple questions per person. I had three um, girls on my Facebook pretty much ask me all the questions. Um, so, they're from now on going to be referred to as my tribunal. And that would be Evie, Caden, and Sam. And, um, so I'm, I wanted to add some color in my hair before my cousin's party tomorrow. So I'm going to do that, and I'm going to answer some questions. Sounds like a thing. Okay. So question one was my biggest regret in life so far. Well, to be honest, I don't really regret a lot. It's it's really a waste of time to regret so much because even the things that didn't turn out as planned were something that you wanted at the time. Um, so I try not to regret as much, but um, if I had to say that I regretted anything, it would be... There goes my list. There goes my dog. If I had to say that I regretted anything, it would be not spending more time with my mom before she passed away. Um, I would probably miss her more because I'd have more memories. But there's that. Look at that green. Um. Okay. Um Next question was what do I do to comfort myself when I'm down? Well, I have trouble with this because I do suffer with, you know, I'm still suffering through the grief of losing my mother, and I, okay, <laughs> and on top of that, I am also, you know, I lost my job earlier this year because the company closed and um, I find that trying to stay positive even when everything you know even if you're sad because the sky is just blue that day it helps if you think of all the good things like, I think of um, my nephews, you know, like, where would they be without a cool multi-hair multi colored aunt like me, like, um, but for real, I take hot showers or cold showers, well, I just take a shower depending on my mood, really, um, if I'm more mad than anything, like, if I'm, like, angry, depressed, I, I'll take a cold shower. Just to lower my blood pressure a little bit. Um. Let's see. What else do I do? Oh, I soak my feet. Because I feel that relieves a lot of pressure. Especially if I if I'm like upset because of like something that happened in work that day, like that's really gonna help me out a lot is soaking my feet. Um, but if all else fails, loud music, loud angry music. It doesn't even really have to be angry. I just I just like screamo music. Okay. <laughs> um.
one motto in life. Um, well, I have two. They kind of coincide with each other, even though they're completely unrelated due to the source. Um, but my first motto is from Charmed. The Char uh, the Hallowell sisters used to say everything happens for a reason all the time. And even to this day, me and my friends always say it. Like, hey, I just broke up with some guy. Well, everything happens for a reason. And that reason ends up being that he was a total man whore. But <laughs> let's not name names right now. Um, or, hey, I, uh, I almost got hit by a car on my way to work today. But I didn't. Well, everything happens for a reason. You're still here. <laughs> Yeah, cool stuff like that. That's what we always say everything happens for a reason about. And then there are like times when it's like I'm so pissed that something happened and one of us will just be like, well, everything happens for a reason. Just because you don't know it yet doesn't mean it's not a good one. Um, and my second life motto is the ever so classic Hakuna Matata and no I'm not saying Hakuna Matatas okay no no Tatas but um Hakuna Matata is you know no worries for the rest of your days like who wouldn't want that I try not to stress about anything because it's not really good for my well-being to stress over something that somebody else is doing or something that I can't control. I mean, what's that going to do for me? Honestly. And then, you know, it's kind of universal anyway. I mean, I see people with tattoos of Hakuna Matata and I'm like, that's awesome. I mean, I personally probably wouldn't get one, but... To each their own. Although, I might get one someday. Um, what was the next question? Okay, so. <laughs> in high school, I started this book. And I'm not going to tell you what the book was about because it's still in... It's still in uh, the process of being written. So I am, con I am continuing it to answer your question because she's completely obsessed with this book because she's actually one of the main characters in it. I'm actually including life events from my own life to, incl to include in the book, but it's it's got my life events in it, but it's like science fiction, if that makes sense. <laughs> um... Did I put the green all the way through? Oh, I might already be done with the green. Actually, you gotta add some to the top. Um, and another part of that question was it I was asking if I plan on pursuing my writing career. And the answer is yes. I still plan on doing that. Um, even though my father still thinks that I'm capable of being a doctor. But I'm not because they wouldn't let me, you know, do surgery or do MRIs on people with my disorders and stuff. So that ship is currently sailed. Unless, you know, some sort of miracle happens. So one thing I hate about dyeing my hair. Oh, he's got these random colors. These random hairs that come out while you're coloring. You know, if I wanted green gloves, I would have just worn the green gloves. Um. So yeah, I plan on pursuing 
my writing career and stuff like that. It's just a matter of, you know, when I feel safe enough to do so, when I'm financially capable to sit home and concentrate, you know, but I'm working like eight hours a day at a retail job that, I mean, I like it, but it's not something that I want to do for the rest of my life unless I do get a book published. Then I would still work there. I'd still work like a normal job. I wouldn't just sit at home and write, write, write. Um, what was another question? Alright, so this one is advice to 10 year old, 15 year old, and 18 year old me. And my advice is, it gets better. Oh, my dog's freaking out because there's a dog in the park behind my house. Um, Tyson! You're upstaging me! What are you doing? He's okay. Okay. Um, it would just be... It gets better. When I was 10, I was in a bad place in my life. When I was 15, I was in high school. <laughs> Tyson! And when I was 18, I was in a relationship that I thought would last forever, and it just didn't. Tyson! Um... Would I change any life choices? Again... Any decisions that I made is something that I wanted to do at the time, so, um, I mean, if you had asked me a couple of years ago, I'd say I wouldn't have gone to Diamond, um, but if I hadn't gone to Diamond, I wouldn't have met my boyfriend, so everything happens for a reason, right guys? Um, maybe I would have taken auto tech instead of carpentry. Carpentry is a, a good, a good skill base, but I would prefer to not have to start from scratch learning about the insides of cars. Like, I know basics, I guess. I mean, I probably couldn't change a tire if you asked me to, but I know, like, how to check my oil, you know, I can identify sounds and smells when there's something wrong with a car. Tyson! He just smashed his head into the door. <laughs> oh, and if you're wondering about this, this is because I stained one of my favorite shirts last time. I mean, this isn't, this is just a sleep shirt anyway, I don't really care, but it's also my skin and stuff, so. Green is done. Okay. Gloves. And I'm going to pause the video right here only because I still have to do the rest of the blue. So, and I still have some more questions to answer, but I'll put this first one up and we'll start again.